We are still here at the True North Golf Club, and I am visiting with Mike Hummelfarb, and we are talking Leader Dog Classic. Welcome, Michael. Thank you. <laughs> Tell me about your involvement. You are the chief volunteer. I love that title. I think that's so sweet. <laughs> I am. I have a fantastic group of people, and they, they, they allow me to lead them. Uh, <laughs> Leader Dog Classic is a 28-year event that uh, we're so proud of. Uh, we raise money for Leader Dogs of the Blind. That's a 100% volunteer organization. Uh, we, we limit the overhead. Uh, no one takes anything from the event. Uh, everything is netted and sent uh, for the purpose of creating leader dogs uh, to the beneficiaries who, uh, who so love them. Let's talk about this year's tournament. I know that Mary uh, mentioned 16 golfers. She was talking about blind golfers. What is the size of this tournament? Our tournament will be a full 144 person field. The Heather Farr uh, leader dog tournament is a tournament for blind and visually impaired, impaired that we do on uh, the two days previous, prior to mm -hmm. our event. But our event is a full, a full crowd. A person who loses his vision oftentimes will be, lose his independence and the dogs bring that independence back to me. And so they've allowed me to uh, pretty much go anywhere I want to go and uh, keep this very shy attitude that I have. He guides me. Uh, if I, He goes to work with me every single day. Uh, we ride the bus. If we ride the bus, we... we uh, he uh, will, he'll find stairs, he'll find a door, he'll find whatever I ask him to, and he follows my directions, and mostly he keeps me safe when I cross the street. Well, that is just a wonderful thing, and I'm so glad that you shared your time and story with me. Thank you. <laughs> The Leader Dog Classic has a lot of community support. Let's talk about some of your sponsors. I'd love to. They're, uh, they're the, the people and the companies that make this happen. Without them, there is no donation at the end of the day. Uh, there is no government or institutional support for Leader Dogs. 100% private uh, and uh, public and company uh, supported. So we are current and, and past sponsors is a who's who list. We've had Scottsdale Insurance and Cox and Avis and North, you know, all the cruise lines have given us cruises. They've been very generous. Uh, T Systems has been an amazing sponsor. And there are so many more. I mean, I'd have to talk to you for six or seven minutes just to make a list. We'll make sure we put a list somewhere at the end. Um, one of the things about it also is the uh, amount of money that you raise is because what does it cost to train a leader dog? This is why we're here. Absolutely, to, to breed, take care of these dogs, uh, bring them through their training, and then ultimately a 28-day course in Michigan to, to marry together the team of the beneficiary and the leader dog uh, costs about $45,000. Wow. And we're very efficient. That's a good, it's actually a very good number. Oh, no, I believe it, it, that when you talk about the time. And the amount that this tournament has been able to raise, the, the Leader Dog Classic, what have you been able to raise? Can you give me a total, maybe? Cumulatively, we're in the hundreds of thousands of dollars. Uh, and when it first started, it was really an event to bring awareness to blindness and Leader Dogs. But for the last 10 years, we've been raising money to, uh, to make donations. That's been the purpose. Alex, let's talk about you are a sight-impaired golfer. Let's talk about what this tournament means to you, the Leader Dog Tournament. Well, it means a lot. I started this about 20 years ago, and uh, I realized that uh, my golf game didn't have to disappear as my vision did. And it was nice to see others who didn't give up and continued to be active, and it was a form of encouragement. Alex, you also said that you were lucky because you played golf prior to losing your sight and that that made a difference for you to not lose this game. Uh, that's true. I, I've been amazed at the people I've met through this who picked up the game after they lost their sight and I have tremendous respect for that because it's a hard enough game as it is and uh, now I feel very lucky actually that I was able to play before I lost my vision. So Mary, what was it like putting on that first tournament? It was a lot of fun. We, um, Joe got hold of a lot of blind golfers. Um, we had a whole different set of blind golfers back then. Mm -hmm. um, and he got hold of Charlie Boswell from Alabama. And Charlie had been around the golf world a long time. He started playing blind golf in 1946. He was blinded <laughs> in World War II. Right. And he came and Joe Lazaro came. Joe had lost his sight. And, 1942 and Pat Brown came 
he lost his sight in an automobile accident. He played golf at, uh, I think it was Tulane University down in New Orleans. So and you're talking about a lot of different golfers from all around that were oh all yes. excited oh about oh participating. Yes. And they all came and uh, Charlie Boswell was a friend of Glenn Campbell's and mm -hmm. so Glenn Campbell came and played. We are here at True North Golf Club and I am visiting with Laura Bainbridge and she is here with True North. Welcome, Laura. Thank you. Let's talk about this course. This is where you are hosting. This is the second year, I understand, hosting the Leader Dog Classic. What is that doing for you? That's right. This is our second year. Um, here at True North, we like to do, and True in general, we like to do a lot of community outreach events. Like we do um, charity events with the Phoenix Children's Hospital and several other charities. So this, we're really excited to host um, Leader Dogs for the second year. Is there anything else that you'd like to add that you want the world to know about the Leader Dog Classic? I, I would. I, it's such an important cause. Um, all of us uh, support many different causes. This one's very important to me. I don't have anyone with blindness or visual impaired in my personal family or uh, close circle. But the way we affect people is so positive and, and it's truly life changing. To see someone go who has tremendous talent, who has tremendous intelligence, and to see them then get independence and freedom and self-worth is uh, something everybody should experience. That sounds very moving and I know I've, I've experienced it just today watching the, the people that we've been interviewing. It's been awesome. Thank you very much.